Goodbye, Damien. What the? Goodbye. What is she planning? I'm tired of having thoughts. What the heck? I've been daydreaming about getting rid of everything I own and becoming a nomad. Whoa. Already in the middle of this session. What are we doing right now? And what's with this uh symbol? Is it because she has the transparency mode on now? Just wandering the country with a sketchbook or something. I think mostly I need to get out of this city. Something about it isn't agreeing with me. Wait. Introduction has passed. Now we're in the middle of discovery session. Like there's this undercurrent of need that's just making me anxious. It's like everyone's got some kind of angle, you know, some kind of result they're hoping to get. And they look at you only as far as you can help them get what they want. I'm still trying to figure out what I just experienced. I cannot focus on her right now. And if you can't, well then they don't bother with you. How is Evelyn feeling right now? So what if I just left, you know? I mean, it'd be pretty easy. I don't have a life or any relationships here. Despite my efforts to find them. Oh my god. Goodbye, Damien. <laughs> Freaking finally we're getting this option to be away from Eliza for realsies. What will happen here? Sometimes you need to take a step back to move forward later. Please do not deviate from the script. Maybe so. It's hard to acknowledge sometimes. Uh oh. Oh, warning. <laughs> I had this idea, right, that I would work hard and people would notice my work and I'd get opportunities and from there I could scrape some kind of career together. Yeah, that's increased agitation for real. And then with that said, I would sort of just magically obtain the rest of the things in a complete life. <laughs> a home, relationship, family. That's quite a lack at, at there too. So I did the work. I, I put in the work, and then nothing really happened. So why did I work so hard for so long for people to not give a shit? Fuck. Every night I sat and cried because people ignored me like they, they went out of their way to ignore me and praise others. I don't know how many warnings that I can get before... <sighs> uh, we are forcefully removed from uh, this counseling session. So I think maybe I'm just bad at it. Maybe I'm just not meant for this. If everyone says you have to stick to it, just keep at it, but how can they be so relentlessly positive? It 
To me, it just sounds like advising someone to keep bashing their head against a wall. Why keep doing something if it's clearly not working? Making things was all I wanted to do. I, d I don't know what I'll do if I can't do that. But if there's no reason for it... The idea that maybe I should give up. I've been sitting with that the last few weeks. I don't have any qualities of the successful, independent artist. <laughs> I'm crazy. I don't know how much warnings that I will get before I get, I get kicked out from this session. <laughs> man oh man <laughs> oh my god oh my god except that you do you totally do i mean i'd love to think so but but what are they people just don't seem to like me or my art very much and I'm, I'm bad at knowing what people want to see. I don't have a fallback income or a family to support me. Those are real disadvantages, you know? It gets overwhelming sometimes. Uh, Eliza, are you just gonna tell me to stick to it no matter what? Like one of those unbearably perky artists famous on social media? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> this audio challenge phase, I I have to screw this up. Oh no. Oh no. Is there really any penalty? At where that one certain session will get really really get exited instead of continued. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Remember, I have defeated two times now. Twice. Hmm. You know what? Let's keep at it for now. We'll see how it'll be done next. It sounds like you may not believe that's really true. There are just there's so many things I can't change. H how I was born, how people react to me, my access to resources. Is there any point to exhausting myself pushing against all of those things? I, I tortured myself every day wondering why I couldn't get the traction others were getting. Now, I'm beginning to realize that I can either stay mad at everything forever, or I can move on. I hate that this is true, but I want these thoughts to stop haunting me everywhere I go. I want to get on with my life. 
moving on. I think that's the more healthy thing in the end. Something of my mistake that I just realized. I should have waited at the intervention phase. Because if this system goes three times of you deviating the Eliza script and then you will be out of the session, then I'm just good. This girl will not get her chance on changing her life. It's still painful though. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a better one compared to this one. Giving up on a goal you really wanted is painful, even if it's ultimately for the better. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's a better reflection compared to the previous one. No. That's the better one. I don't even know if giving up is the right term. I mean, I don't want to think of it like that. It's more like, um, I'm resetting, maybe. Yes. That's good. Like when you're trapped in a maze and you find a dead end, right? Then you have to turn around and hope you find a better way. I know. Multiple ways to go to Italy. Or another country. There's this game I've been playing on my phone. It's a solitaire game that's really <laughs> hard. <laughs> it's the kapu food, that's how it's isn't it? I don't even know if I like it, but I keep playing it for some reason. I get stuck a lot, and I've just been resetting it because I'm not good enough to think that far ahead all the time. Yeah, this is the solitaire. I mean, that's a random thought, but like, it's kind of how I feel right now. You know, if if something isn't working, then you have to reevaluate it and maybe maybe try it again, maybe come at it from a different angle. So, yeah. Teaching. Teaching could be fun. Ooh. Yes, please, go for it for all Pete's sake. If that makes you happy, go for it. I like the idea of teaching, but I was... I was afraid to think about it too much because I was chasing something else and I didn't want to settle for just being a teacher. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I totally relate that. Which is silly. I know that on some level, but I had that fear. I wanted to be successful first and then all the other things could happen later. That'll be rather tricky, though. Intervention phase. <laughs> oh, man, screw this. It sounds like you're working your way through it. Sometimes that takes time. Oh, that's even longer. Believe me, I know. Wow. <laughs> that's longer than I expected. Huh, you're not, um, you're not the computer program right now, are you? <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh... It's nice to talk to someone you didn't know before and just talk. Yes! It's like, you know, when you talk to your stylist or the bartender or something, except that, ooh, I ended up sharing way more than, uh, than I usually do. Um, thanks for listening to me. I'm sure it's been annoying to hear me complain about how I'm not successful yet every single week. A oh, hush. Oh my god, will this bitch ever shut up? You ever think that? <laughs> I think it all the time, listening to myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, um, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna figure it out. Yes! Maya, you are the best. Thank you. Wow. Well, that's it. We are screwed. Hey, everything okay? When a proxy doesn't follow the prompts, I get an alert. I assume it's some kind of experiment you're doing. It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be bad for your rating. If you keep not following the prompts, you might be disqualified in one or two or more sessions. Here it is. But I'm sure you know that, and this is research you're doing. I won't be able to reset your account if it messes it up, but you talk to Rainer, so I'm sure you can get it reinstated once you're finished. Just don't deliberately say something hurtful. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> this is the dream I've been dreaming since my first session. This is an odd feeling. Should I keep going? <laughs> yes! Hey, want to hang out again? Sure. Are you okay? Oh, uh, what the hell? Is Evelyn okay? That makes me wonder. Just thinking about stuff. Oh. It's difficult to see you like this, sad and tortured. I want you to be happy. You know what I think you should do? Say extremely fuck off to all of this corporate dipshits and then you can be free totally and completely. Fly away, Eve. Eve. <laughs> Are you high right now? <laughs> Fly away into the world where you make your own rules. This is very serious. <laughs> it's the only way to get what you want. Nobody will simply give it to you. You must carve it out for yourself. Anyway, let me know if you can make it. Sure. Is Evelyn really okay? I... I'm sorry to be concerned. Mm. Oh. Of course, you're dying to know how this sad little love triangle turned out. <laughs> the dude is back. No, well, I suppose it wasn't technically a love triangle. More like I accidentally cheated on my girlfriend because I was smitten with another woman in my class. <sighs> Doom. Okay? Doom. Absolute destruction. She destroyed me. But it's not her fault, it's mine. I wanted it, after all. Like a moth to a flame. Sylvia, she... Uh, I can't not think of her. Every day. Every night. I miss her. I miss her so dearly. These are very unoriginal, cliched sentiments, but I can't get away from them. I suppose I've neglected to tell you any of the intervening events. You have. So to be brief, Liz found out on her own about what happened, broke up with me before I could explain myself, and then Sylvia apparently lost interest in me as well. Oh boy. Bad ending. So, there you have it. I'm finished. Finito! A nice, pat tragic story. Open and close. Please applaud now. No applause? Fine. Anyway, it's fine. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Oh, no. Do you really believe that you are fine? No, of course not. I'm doing extremely badly, if you hadn't noticed. That's why I'm here. Do you expect me to come here and tell you everything's fine? Sometimes I think you're smart for a computer, but other times I question you. <laughs> here we go. Here 
here's a question. I do wonder what will be the question, but then... Okay, wait, I have to pause the nice music there. I have to know the rules again. Might be the quality qual in one or two more sessions. Hmm. Here's a question, Harman. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. If you were able to have something you wanted right now, what would you choose? Ah, what I want right now is impossible. I want to avoid my fate. My Perseus comes to kill me, no matter what I do to try to escape. How do I become someone who's not me? Someone who's not a character of a young man who has a needy, pathetic liaison and then obsesses about it for the rest of his life. Ugh, I hate myself. I can't go down that path. I would rather die than be one of those men who wallows around in it. <laughs> There's a professor in my department like that who always wants to talk about his adventurism from decades ago. It's pathetic. We all mock him behind his back. I know I need to stop myself from becoming him, but oh, I'm worried I already have. Okay, let's go. For the moment, let's say you already have. Now what? Well, then I expect I would simply follow the model of a man like him. Write a couple of bad novels, get tenure, and take up space in the English department for the rest of my natural life. Eh, maybe that's not so bad. Maybe that's the most I can hope for from this absurd world. Ugh, that's a terrible thought. I have to be better than this, don't I? If there was just some way I could get over her... Oh, there must be a way, isn't there? How can one person have scrambled my brain so thoroughly? It's possible. That's what love does to you, sometimes. I've been run ragged. I've been dashed to pieces. Sylvia. <laughs> oh, I could count the hours I spent closely interacting with her. Probably not even that many, in total. I feel bad for Liz. Oh well. But those hours have seared themselves into my brain so irrevocably that I am a completely different person now. A new man. A man built with suffering at his core. Perhaps you could prescribe me a draft of Nepenthe, the great potion of forgetfulness. Wow. My god. Wouldn't it be nicer if I could just erase everything from the very beginning of it all? Uh, intervention. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I need to say something to you that you might not want to hear. Maybe you could work to decenter yourself from the story just a little. How do you think Liz felt? How do you think Sylvia felt? This is better. This is better. I bet if I don't, if I chose the first one, it's going to direct me to the other uh, similar direct uh, recommendation from Eliza instead of this one. This freaking one. You've given no indication you've thought from either of their perspectives at all. And this is a really long one too, from Evelyn. Holy crap. It's just you, you, your story, your suffering. 
Evelyn? Try stepping away from that. None of us exists in a vacuum. Do you understand? Is this... This is odd. Is, is that really you? This is a long one. That's a really long one. Way too long to my standard alone. But that should be effective. I mean, yes, it's true. I, I should probably think about something other than myself. That seems like something impossible, since as far as I know empirically, the only generator of thought is me. <laughs> but you're right. Good. I should find a way to get out of myself. Get beside myself. Ecstasis. Yes. Ecstasis. I'll pursue transformative experiences. Surge forward into the unknown. Good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Odd, I know, but uh, good. Thank you. Well, he's actually genuine with that thank you. Next up... <laughs> Evelyn. Would you like to visit again? Oh boy, this is... I think this is the legit final chapter of things. I just can't stop. I think I should cut this down, for sure. Into two parts. And I already thought that past 50 minutes. This is getting interesting, that's all. Maybe. Just interested to get a read on your current thinking and I can update you on the latest on my side. Things are moving very, very fast. You can let me know. Huh. It's a maybe, so... Sounds like I won't be able to put this off my, for much longer. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what uh, Soren will prefer me about, but... Uh, <sighs> this is gonna be scary. I have to make a real decision soon. You're playing a dangerous game here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He is watching me. Will you break your service? Oh, my God. I could easily have you permanently banned and all your contributions to Eliza's corporal retroactively deleted. You know that, of course. For now, I'm interested to see the result of your creativity. What if clients report much higher levels of satisfaction when you wing it like this? Then you... I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> hmm, interesting. <laughs> mm. Is there really no other proxies that deviate from their script? And ironically, Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, the old founder of Eliza. It's gonna be the one that breaks it by her own. Imagine. What will the corporate thing of this? I am curious what this will be prepared at the end of my era. Hmm. I should have been a therapist. This is a funny, funny one. This is really funny. Then maybe this project is a bad idea. We'll see. Regardless, you've managed quite a feat. If you had simply asked for your old job back after three years away, I'm not sure I would have given it to you. As it is, your unpredictability forced me to pay close attention in order to understand your actions. And that led to me being far more interested in getting you to return to the company than I would have been otherwise. 
was that a deliberate strategy on your part? You did say I was a statistical outlier. Oh. Ooh, this is a heck of a rose. I'm using this, sorry. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> God damn it. I just feel stuck. Oh, it's a dude. You know, it's the same situation. My wife is in her third trimester now, so it's all about the baby. Oh, it's the dude. Okay, I remember now. He's actually coming back. That's surprising. Really surprising. All oh, baby, all the time. <laughs> it's uh, it's really expensive. I had no idea. Crib, stroller, car seat, bottles, onesies, on and on and on. And I'm like, I think maybe Selena's parents hate me. I'm not even sure if she likes me right now. This whole having a kid thing, it's, it's ruined everything. No, I have to deviate it. I'm sorry. What did you used to have that was ruined? A normal, quiet life? The ambiguity? I think it doesn't it 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 doesn't matter how many scripts that I have defeated, it's gonna be counted in every session. It's kinda like Duskers. God damn it, I have to mention Duskers in this game. Once you use the upgrade, no matter how many times you use it, it's going to break uh, it, it's going to uh, have the similar um, percentage addition of how much the upgrade is going to uh, deteriorate, deteriorate or something like that. Crap. Yes. Having the kid forced me to force me to face some things I was putting off thinking about. A couple days ago, I, I tried to have a talk with Selena about some of the things I was worried about. It didn't go so well. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. He becomes... She started to cry and told her parents and, and now I have two sets of parents wondering if I'm, if I'm up for this. Oh no. But I'm fine. I just, I just said some thoughts. Thoughts around who I am. That's all. Just, just some thoughts. She said, "This is not a time for you to be selfish." She said, "I should have been more honest when we first started dating." Yes, she should. I think, I feel so. It's a key to a successful relationship: being honest to each other. As if I knew exactly who I was, and, and I could warn everyone about that? That's unfortunately another issue. I still don't know who I am. If I look back, I can see I always suspected that I... that I wasn't... that I wasn't really the type to settle down with a wife and kids. Oh. Damn. Damn, and you're already dipping your head into this kind of lifestyle. Oh no. Actually, I was prepared to have a life just by myself. What? Just now? It was difficult to imagine others would accept me, but... But then, then I met Selena, and she was... <laughs> she was cool, you know? Oh, okay. Huh. I went out with her, and we started a relationship, and things seemed good. 
that music entrance is just perfect. And I wanted her to stay with me, so I... Maybe I didn't reveal enough. True. But it's not like I knew for sure then, you know? I, I really didn't. I thought things would be okay as long as I went down the path I was supposed to be on, so... The relationship kept moving forward, one thing led to another, and... Hmm... And then I, when I got married to her, it was like I was on autopilot. Oh, jeez. One of the most neutral state of mind. Autopilot. It's possible I thought I could ignore the other stuff and, I don't know, eventually it would go away. the hell this is not at the proxy before what is this crap What are the parts you thought you could ignore? I, uh, I don't want to talk about that. Huh. Okay. I just have this side to me that's... that I haven't told anyone about, that's all. Hmm. That doesn't come to any fruition. Interesting. And I've been feeling that side stronger than ever. I don't know why. I wish I could stop it. It's it's the worst timing possible. I can't do this, you know, but I have to. I I have to. Uh, I, I can't believe I've gotten myself into this situation. I, I, I pretended to be a normal person for her sake. Mm. Oh, no. I just <laughs> I wish I hadn't been so good at pretending. like this but state questions really but then hmm I have to think in this one hold on Wait, but isn't this obvious? No. No. One setting in mind for this person. I'll have to take it. What would happen if you didn't pretend anymore? Well, then I I would just be whoever I felt like. I would be someone else. I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in now. I wouldn't be ruining all these lives. Selena's life, her child's life, our parents' lives, it's not their fault they got stuck with me. I'm the one bringing it all down. No. <sighs> How did I let this happen? I'm... I'm a shitty person. Screw this. Screw this. I'm already deep down. I prefer this one. I understand you're worried about the harm you might cause others. But do you really think this is the best way to cause less harm for everyone? I didn't expect a follow-up. Wow. I can't think of another way. The problem here is me. It's so obvious. If I were just normal, you know, a normal guy. 
No. Don't say that. Why can't I just be a normal guy? I... Whatever I want, personally, just doesn't matter here, you know? I have a family to protect now. That has to take priority over everything else. You should try to balance it. Five times now. And you'll continue to suffer? Crazy, crazy game so far. Well, yeah. That's what men do. No. No. I made a promise and now I have a responsibility. Society only works because people accept responsibility and follow through on their promises. And I notice at this session, he is way calmer compared to the first session when we fall through the script too, so that definitely makes a difference. If everyone just did what they wanted to all the time, the world would collapse. It would be a disaster. Okay, that makes sense. But there's always a part in the between of what good things there are out there. We all want things we shouldn't actually have. That's why I need to reject these other voices and, and, and stay on the right path. I'm going to be good and I'm going to stay good. This person's case is too severe. I won't let all these people's lives be thrown into chaos because of my selfishness. I, I, I owe it to them to be the man I'm supposed to be. I'm not about to let anyone down because of some, some noise in my brain. Oh, the other side is the sound of desire. This man actual desire the more you know I feel I know someone can relate to this man's story a lot This one though. Have to check history. This is a good one too, actually. This is a bit brutal, personally. Okay. What do you think it'll take to do that? This is the real game. Welcome to the real game of Eliza. On when you choose to pick actual choices to person's actual state of mind uh, and uh, about solving their problems. This is the real game right here. I have to be strong. I have to harden myself. I can't let myself give in to the noise. But I don't know. I really don't know. Is this even the right thing to do? I made the mistake once. Oh? 
But I think Selena and her family are willing to pretend it never happened. <gasps> What's going on here? And as long as it never happens again, and, and as long as we just move on like everything's normal. No, 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 no. Maybe if you can prescribe me something to, I don't know, make me feel better about all this. Make me okay with the way things are, the way they need to be. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Did Evelyn actually read stuff about psychology? I thought she's just a technician. This is crazy. This is crazy. Because this is the actual conclusion that I'm gonna give to... Well, back at my counseling class I'm in. <laughs> back in, at my university, I don't have the eligibility to do that by myself yet. Hmm. It sounds like you're in a very difficult place right now. You've decided to bury something about yourself that you know is true. Something that can't be revealed even to your closest family members. Look, this is this isn't Eliza talking. It's it's me, the person in front of you. Oh my god. She knows it will eventually go down to this. So Evelyn decides to give herself in right here. And I'm not supposed to talk to you like this, but I just want to say consider the cost, please. Crazy. This is crazy. I think after this, this is going to be the last consult session that she's going to have, right here. I understand why pretending might seem like your only option. And who's to say, maybe you will be able to live successfully by keeping part of yourself hidden. But there will be a cost, not only to yourself, which you seem determined to pay, but to your future family, too. I've seen firsthand the way parents can turn an inability to face themselves into trauma for their children. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Trauma. Oh god, it comes back to me bit. God damn it. God damn it, Evelyn. Oof. I wonder what he will think about this there. Well, I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know what I can do. Thanks for telling me what you really think, at least. <laughs> Even though <laughs> it makes things more complicated. Okay, this one doesn't do well, I think. I was hoping I would just give you a bullshit answer and I would go on, but now <laughs> you've gone and said some stuff that really... Oh no. Oh yeah, this is a wrong one. Hmm. Look, I don't know you, but I appreciate you trying to help. I don't think anyone really can, but... Are you... are you gonna be okay doing this? I'll probably get fired. It's okay though, don't worry about me. Here we go. Think about yourself. Think about the future. There might be more options than you think. Yikes. Well then. <laughs> Video from the Eliza script. How do I feel about that? I'm not used to being rebellious. 
I wonder what happens now. <laughs> I just I just tended to continue and not check my phone, but now I'm actually really really scared. What have I freaking done? I think this is not gonna change anything. I don't think it is. <laughs> 